Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and some people asked me some questions about the video I just uploaded, and I'm gonna answer those questions for you right now. I just wanna go over some quick questions that people had about this video. And from time to time, I will post certain subjects on my community page, so make sure you go take a look at that on my YouTube channel. So the first question is, is this Q60 worth the extra money? In my opinion, take money aside, I think you're gonna get a brighter screen, and additional to that, you're going to have better gaming settings. So in my opinion, it is worth the extra money if it's part of your budget. But if not, the TU-7000 is a great television set. So Patrick's asking, what's the overall quality of the Samsung and LG in terms of lifespan? So my answer to that is that you cannot tell how long something's going to last. And everyone has different living conditions. For example, somebody might live at the beach. Someone might live in a dry area. Somebody might live in a hot area. So the lifespan is variable. So Ian has a question about pass-through connections on a receiver. To be honest with you, I don't really use receivers. I just use sound bars at this point. So I couldn't really answer that, but uh, thanks for the question. So Ender's asking, what's better for movies and motion handling and overall picture quality? In my opinion, the Q series is going to be better overall. Just the fact that it has the upper Quantum processor. So that's going to allow everything to work much faster and more fluent. Curse Tech had a question about fast motion for movies and gaming. Again, the QLED has a quantum processor, which is faster, so it's going to make everything look smoother no matter what you run through it. Now, there's some differences. If you use an external source or a built-in app, the app's going to always run better because it's native inside of the TV set. So I hope I say this right. Sagu so asked, what's the difference between the Q60 and the UN7300? Well, these are two different TV sets. The Samsung's going to have a much better screen quality, in my opinion. However, the LG has so many features, it's just really hard to not go with a TV set like that. But overall, if I was going to get an LG, I would definitely get an IPS display, just my personal opinion. But the Q60 and between those two TV sets is going to be a far more superior uh, picture overall. Now, if you want to get something that matches, look at the nano cells because they are going to be more on that same level as the Samsung. I hope I say this one right. The last question is from Brulo, and which one has a better picture quality? Obviously, the Q series has it. Uh, the 4K gaming, of course, the Q series, and uh, what kind of cable? It really doesn't matter. The cable, in my opinion, loans is HDMI 2.0, and it has HDCP of 2.2 or 2.3. Most cables are going to give you a really good uh, connection, loans they have that certification on. So I hope that helped you guys out. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you'll see a subscribe button at the very bottom. Go ahead and press on that so you can join my channel to see my next upload. I'm Tech Steve. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.